I blame fraps. All right, so now I got a little fleet here. I'm gonna head in and attack this little mining base that the enemy player built. And it doesn't look like they have much of a fleet, so. This shouldn't be too hard. There goes my little fleet. Now the, the Sov have probably the weakest ships in the whole game, so they rely more on mass numbers of ships rather than building quality ships. And as you can see, there's that little creature. Looks like he's wandering off. There's his little mate. They probably just had some fun. <laughs> so let me go get all my ships together. I don't want them to get too separated. And let's go check out the enemy. Oh, they got a little destroyer ship, which I think I will take out now. That little ship is no match for my fleet. <laughs> Oh, I got two of them. I'll go after that second one. I'll just go right into their base. Uh, and as you can see, uh, looks like there's a colony of those creatures now. They're gonna <laughs> they're gonna multiply like wildfire soon. So, uh, unless they all get killed off in the crossfire here, but uh, we'll focus on blowing up the space and not the space cows. So it looks like this player totally left their mining station undefended. So I can just swoop in here and take it out with ease. Yep, they got nothing but utility ships here that can't even fire. <laughs> Alright, so not much is going on, just attacking their mining station. If nothing much goes on, I'll just skip ahead to a later point when there's more action and more combat going on. Oh, speaking of the devil, it looks like they brought in their fleet. <laughs> a very small fleet, but they can take out a few of my ships if they focus their fire, which it looks like they're doing. Uh, looks like I'm going to take out their mining station first before they do any damage to me. And there goes the mining station. <laughs> Our first little battle of the day. So now that I did a blow to their economy, I'm going to get my ships back to my base and repair because it actually <laughs> looks like they have a pretty big fleet coming in. Yep, and there goes one of my ships. Poor bugs. Alright, so I'm retreating back to my base and I'll buy um, some more ships. Ooh, my hero arrived. Yeah, in this game you can summon the, the leader character that you choose at the start of the match. And unlike most RTS games where if your hero dies in a fight, you can just sort of randomly build them again. In this game, if you lose your hero, your hero character, they're, they're gone for good. <laughs> So hopefully that'll um, that'll make players care more about their their characters instead of just using them as tank units to soak up fire from the enemies and then just resummon them when they die. Because one of the goals of this game is to make the player attached to the characters in the storyline. So I don't think it would work well if they could cheat death. So I'm just gonna have my ships repair and summon some more ships for the fight and I'll go in and charge at their base head on so I'll skip ahead here and get to some of the good parts so now I have a pretty decent sized fleet ready and the enemy fleet is hanging out away from their base so I'm just gonna take advantage of the moment and send my fleet in through their back door and hopefully I'll be able to do some damage to them before their fleet returns to counter me. <laughs> so yeah, not sure what to say here. Just gonna take a look at the ships up close, I guess, while I march to their base. 
Looks like those creatures are spreading like wildfire as I predicted. There's now a giant colony of several dozen of them here. Uh, hopefully they don't get killed in the crossfire. There's this Vestavant cruiser. I'm going to take it down. That ship stood no chance. <laughs> And there goes all of Broker's drones. Oh, it looks like they had more ships at their base than there were a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, this is why Broker's probably my favorite character for the Sov, just because all these little drones that she can make, they're really handy, even though they're ter they're terribly weak. So we're almost at their base, coming in through the side here. Going to want to avoid that star base and just go after their shipyard so that they can stop building ships. So I'm going to creep around their star base. Hopefully it won't be able to fire on my fleet. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I got past it just fine. And I'll just come in here in the back and take out their shipyard. Since according to the map, their fleet is at least another two minutes away from countering me. <laughs> so I'll just park my ships here and open fire on their little base. Zoom in as these little drones fly around everywhere. I'll get Broker in the back here because I don't want her to die off so easy if their fleet manages to get back. I'll have her attack the other shipyard. So not much to say really. <laughs> Unlike Zelda, which I can just, you know, go on about for hours and hours, and I don't really know what to say about my original stuff here. Other than hopefully it's awesome. <laughs> So yeah, just picking apart their base with all my little drones. Almost got their first shipyard. It looks like their fleet got here, so I'll focus on keeping my ships alive. They're doing a pretty good job so far. But again, the Soft have the weakest ships in the whole game, so if they even have a remotely similar number of ships attacking me, I'm pretty much screwed. Because <laughs> the Sov rely on overwhelming numbers. Looks like I took out one of their shipyards though, that should help out. Right when their fleet gets here. <laughs> yeah, they're starting to pick off my ships pretty fast now. So I'll just have Broker here, have all our drones fire on everything at once. The Sov are really good at focusing fire. So now I just have hundreds of her little drones flying around, shooting up everything in sight. While my fleet's just parked there, hanging out. Lots of explosions. A little bit of lag, again, because the drones, for whatever reason, cause a little hiccups in the game. Naturally if I find out why they're doing that I'll fix it. It has nothing to do with the the polygon counts because those little drones are only like 40 polys each maybe. <laughs> For those that are familiar with 3D modeling I always try to keep my stuff as low poly as possible because Throughout my life, I've always had lag issues until I just got this new computer here. 
And even though it looks like they had a fairly decent fleet, I managed to survive with four or five ships. <laughs> and all my drones, of course. It looks like they're just focusing on the little drones now.